So you're Elliot Kaufman, right? The famed <laughs> photographer. By the way, Elliot, I looked at your photographs for the first time. Just fantastic. God, you know, and, and I guess you've been doing that for a long time. And now I think <laughs> you just invented a wonderful idea for handbags and they're hanging right behind your head there. And, and, <laughs> and you've proved like an old guy can make money on Kickstarter. <laughs> Why not? So how did it happen? Well, you know, I've been thinking about doing this uh, for a while. And I, I started buying bags off the street and putting images on them somehow or another through different websites of knitting and photo knitting and all this. And it just didn't work. And the images weren't right. But then I met a handbag designer, somebody who has ah. a, a pretty well-known and, and a, a, an excellent company. So I, I showed it to her. We both agreed that it wasn't there, that the, the idea was good, but the presentation was not. I see. Huh. So this was like three or four years after I put these things away. So then I said, you know, I'm going to try to do this because it's such an interesting sort of idea. It's not something I've ever seen before. And I wanted to also, you know, create something from scratch. So instead of just photographing other people's work, you want to make your own work. Huh? I want to make my own work. Exactly. A real uh, artist. Yeah, well, as a, as I've been an architectural photographer. I, right. Which is actually photographing other people's creations. So I wanted to create one myself mm -hmm. and uh, went ahead and started really, once I pour myself into a project like that, I went full steam ahead <laughs> and came up with a number of ideas, went through a couple designers who I was going to hire, oh. which one didn't work out and then one really did. And um, we worked together in the conceptualization, but mostly with her, uh, bringing in her ideas of development. And this is a handbag designer. Huh? Yeah, this is a, you know, she, she knew how to construct the thing. Mm -hmm. I visualized it. Mm -hmm. So it was my vision, her being able to take my vision and put it to a real product. And um, she's also someone that grew up in a handbag factory, her dad. Oh has been a manufacturer for many years. So she knows manufacturing. She knows construction. She found a good partner. Huh? Yeah, it was great. It was great. And she's superb. So and how did you get to, what made you think of Kickstarter? Or why the heck did you use it? Or, or what made you think that this could be helpful? Well, I, I knew that I was spending an awful lot of money in, okay. the, fir in the first sort of eight, nine months. It was all out you know, outflow from, from me. It was my investment in her mostly mm -hmm. and in a bunch of sampling and materials right. and all that. So then I couldn't really, it didn't have the, the funds to go and forward and continue uh -huh. on that and start, you know, manufacturing these things and investing again, that same amount of money. So I thought, well, I've seen this Kickstarter thing. I've seen how it works seen the best and I've seen the worst of it. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to do it. <laughs> so you never used it before. Huh? I never used it before. I've been looking at it. Yeah. Never used it before. And I decided, well, if these kids can do it, I can. <laughs> <laughs> One for the old farts. <laughs> yeah. And I've got kids all those ages of those. Oh, I see. <laughs> They encouraged me to and said, yeah. Oh, they did? Yeah, I learned from my kids, too. That's great. Just go do it. So, did you, were you planning for failure when you did it at all? Or, I mean, God, I mean you raised like $12,000 in, you know, what was it, a month or what? It, yeah, it was 30 days. 30 days, wow. And, and I sweated it out, I got to tell you. <laughs> because if I didn't get, if you don't reach your goal in Kickstarter, you get nothing. Zippo, huh? It's all that time, money yeah. spent. I, I, I had a professional video editor. Ah, do your video. Yeah. Because I, I didn't, the video has to be outstanding. There's a man with a camera for 30 years or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I shot the video. I see. shot all the images. Oh, I see, the edit. I see, right. And then she put it together as oh, cool. a video. Yeah, she uh, told the story. Is different. Yeah, yeah, she told the story in a very, I, we talked a lot. I uh, 
did the voiceovers <laughs> in her little studio and but more important i think what kickstarter seems to do you know for people and especially like you man you've proved that this sucker will sell yeah I and you haven't even finished making them yet <laughs> i haven't made one i've made all of these samples that you that see in the back them, yeah which are very expensive to make but there i have a complete set of all three i have done three designs and I've done all of the sizes of the bags, the totes, the medium size and the small zip pouches right. in, in, in all the designs behind me. Um, so if you, if you got, if you had the money to, to get further, to make more products, you know, that 12 gram from somewhere else, then you'd be sitting there still don't know if they sell. Right. So this uh, way. Yeah. And then I'd owe people that money. I would owe people that money. Right. <laughs> And this way, your customers gave you the money. <laughs> they, they gave me the money to do the first production, yeah. to give them their rewards that they signed up for as their right. pledges. And uh, they basically financed the first yeah. inventory. That's why I think it's just a great idea because you you now have convinced yourself in the world that this thing is sellable. You know, instead of just... it, it is definitely sellable. And there wasn't everybody everybody who pledged all the notes i got just said this is so exciting so terrific you know i can't wait till it comes out so i'm getting really good feedback from the sort of market <laughs> if you call it that way but a lot how of that is this different how is this different from selling your photography services i guess that's what you really do right well so. you know the photography is you're selling yourself yeah I hear you're selling a product. I see. So you can take yourself one step away from it a little bit and look at it as a business. Mm -hmm. I never. So you can do this in your underwear on the beach, right? Right. I mean, I, you know, in all of the years that I've been a photographer, which has been a long time, I've never really thought of it as a business. Oh, really? I've never huh? really approached it as a real sort of entrepreneurial yeah. business. It's not. There's too much at stake in it there's right. so, so much emotional uh, aspect to it mm -hmm. that w when i took myself out of it and looked at it as a business i was able to detach a little bit and be able to come up with ideas that will take it forward that i was never able to do really with with photography you know, with photography. But you still seem like an artist at it I mean, no, I mean you're making works of art that nobody else has done before well that's yeah i mean i am not I'm not stopping being a photographer. Yeah. I'm just diverting it into a different medium for a little, you know, a little side action here. A little. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, you don't know if it's only a side action. No, it's taking up a lot of my time right now. I mean, it takes up a lot of a lot of time. And the, a new relationship is always like that, isn't it? <laughs> You know, now I'm going through all of the materials that have to be ordered and this time lapse and that time lapse. And, you know, now I'm talking to all of the people that are going to supply me. And uh, it's it's very interesting to interact so with the whole. By having, I would think by having customers already that gave you the money, that really motivates you more to get the whole, all the problems you're going to have in setting up a business done, huh? Yeah, you're absolutely right. Yeah, because that, you have a commitment now to a hundred girlfriends or whatever you got now. <laughs> right, right, right. You know, with Kickstarter, I'll tell you, with Kickstarter, it's friends and friends of friends. Yeah. And family and friends of family. Uh -huh. I'd say if you talk to any of the Kickstarter people, they'll tell you that that's a majority of their friends. Yeah. And it but was. that's what we're here for. Yeah. yeah. That's for each other, you know, and, and to support each other to do things. And I guess that that gives it a, a nice platform, you know, for people. And, and, and you feel more instead of going door to door to your friends and bugging them at dinner every night for money or something. <laughs> no, I was really careful about that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, very careful because I, I wasn't really asking for money. Yeah. It, the people get confused. Yes. Well, you know, I want to donate. It's right. not a donation. Right. It's not, not a NPR at <laughs> all. Right. There's no charity involved here. Right. They, they are helping. This is pure greed. Yeah, and they are getting a lot for it. Yeah, they're beautiful bags. I mean, that's why I, I, I think, you know, you're going to have a problem when people want to put these in stores. Then you have to get a real big company, you know, right. <laughs> dealing with people and no more art. Right. <laughs>
<laughs> but that's a nice problem to have. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, well, that's just terrific. See, uh, uh, Elliot, how do we find these? I mean, they're not going to be a, but you're going to have them on your website soon. It, it, we're hoping to launch this week. This week, okay. And that's ecoffman.com. No, no, it's, no? it's where it's, is it? It's the Elliot NYC. So it's the name of the company, ElliotNYC.com. Okay. E L L I O T T N Y C. That's the bag company, right? Dot com. Dot that's com. The, okay, so go to ElliotNYC.com for the bags, and that'll be out this week. People will see this, you know, who knows when, so you'll be there. But you are Elliot Kaufman, worldwide recognized photographer, and they ought to see those images, man. I mean, <laughs> you should make sure you got a link to that. Yeah. I mean, they're just stunning stuff, uh, and I'm sure you've known this, but I mean, I, I don't get a chance to see things like that. So uh, I appreciate your photography. So <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you so much. But it's great that you're you know, branching out and using that, but creating new stuff in the world. I mean, instead of having some big factory, you know, do a thousand or something that you're going to see all over. I mean, you got something that's unique and uh, it's a joy to the rest of us to see stuff like that. So I, I appreciate Thank you. everything you do like this and, and taking it from other worlds and other lives and making our life more unique by you creating this stuff. So you, you keep it up there for the old guys, okay? <laughs> I will. I will. I'm with you on that, Matthew. Yeah. Thank you so much, Ellie. You're welcome. You're welcome. It's been a pleasure.